It may surprise you to know that while you're out hiking or biking through parts of Utah, you need to... Be careful where you walk, because our dirt is actually alive. Now, it's not as weird as you may think. It's actually just biological soil crust, a living group of cyanobacteria, lichens, and mosses that keep things together. And they're really these important tiny organisms that live right at the surface of the soil. And they perform so many important services, like soil stabilization, increasing soil fertility and moisture. And USU is helping the USGS research these important crusts to see how they're being affected by climate change. As things get warmer, as things get drier, these systems are likely to have outsized responses to those changes in the ways that they function and the really important services that they provide people all over the world. So out here north of Moab they have these plots, a lot of them actually, where they're applying different levels of heat to the soil with these infrared lights and monitoring the effects. What we've learned is that they're sensitive to a plethora of disturbances. For example at this site we've learned that they are extremely sensitive to changes in climate both warming temperatures and also changes in precipitation regimes. They've been studying these crusts for about 20 years now, which is giving us some really important data. This is the only experiment of its kind, the only long-term warming experiment in a dryland anywhere in the world, despite drylands covering 43% and soon to be possibly 50% of the Earth's land surface. For this project and others as well, USU's Moab campus is acting as a research hub. The opportunity to start bringing in more and more USU students into this science means the sky's the limit for the kind of research that can be done.